New details emerging today about the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School. More than a dozen people have been shot and killed at that school, and that number includes children. And in killing 21st graders and six educators, he expended 154 rounds before using the 155th on himself. The state should ban high-capacity magazines and assault-style weapons. 90%. Support background checks that will keep criminals and people who've been found to be a danger to themselves or others from buying a gun. We've cried enough. We've known enough heartbreak. It's something that, that if we are serious, we will do. As many of you know, gun violence is too common. In recent years, guns have been responsible for a handful of massacres in the United States. And these massacres involve not only handguns, but also shotguns and assault rifles. In the Aurora, Colorado movie theater shooting, the shooter had a semi-automatic rifle with a 100 round drum magazine. And in the Sandy Hook, Connecticut elementary school shooting, the shooter had a semi-automatic rifle with a 30 round magazine along with multiple pistols. In the United States, 67% of the murders are committed by guns every year. And in just Michigan, 74% of the murders are from gun violence. Every day, 12 children and young adults, ages 4 to 19, die from gunfire in the United States. Gun violence has been steadily decreasing over the last 50 years, but within the last three years, we have seen an increase in gun-related incidents. Statistics don't lie. The United States has an unusually high rate of gun violence compared to other countries. Something needs to be done to lower the rate of gun violence right now. The Second Amendment of the Constitution states, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, and a well-regulated militia is necessary to the security of a free state. Many people think the increase in gun violence is due to a lack of legislation against guns. But guns don't kill people, people do. More regulation on guns would infringe on Second Amendment rights. Many of the shootings like Newtown and Aurora could have been prevented had more people been carrying guns in the school and theater. Many of those who commit gun crimes are mentally unstable. So in order to prevent gun crimes, we need to focus more on the people and less on the guns. If you came in to buy a firearm, granted that you're legal to purchase a firearm of legal age and, and so forth, correct. 18 on long guns and 21 oh, okay. on handguns. So at 18 years old, you can come in and buy a shotgun or a 22 rifle, even a high power rifle at 21 for a handgun. That's Michigan state law, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, when you come in to buy a gun, we agree on a price. The, uh, you fill out the paperwork, which is a 4473 form. Uh, and that's your background information <clears throat> and statements that you're a law abiding citizen. Then we call the FBI NICS, uh, which does an immediate background check. Um, and they'll either proceed, 
delay and sometimes deny. If you've got a criminal background, it, it shows up pretty quickly. Delayed means that you're close to somebody else, that may be the mm -hmm. same name, same age, same state of residence, and they're going to look a little further into it. Proceed um, means you're crystal clear. Gun violence is common for a number of reasons, but the main one is that guns are way too easy to purchase. Private sales make up more than 50% of gun sales in Michigan alone, and there are absolutely no background checks for private sales. The only requirement is that the buyer must be 18 years old. Private sales does include gun show and internet transactions, so it is not required that the seller ever meet the buyer when selling a gun. At a federal dealership, a person has to be only 18 to buy a long rifle and 21 to buy a pistol, under both federal and Michigan law. The regulations are fine as they stand, I think, but I think they also need to enforce the regulations that they've got oh, There's, in place. You know, Honest people can legally purchase a handgun and they've got good background checks in place right now if they're purchased through retail stores. More regulations of firearms will not deter those already bent on breaking the law. The United States already has sufficient regulation with regards to firearms. For example, in Michigan, 8 out of 10 crimes are committed with handguns, which are already well regulated. Handguns require background checks and submitted sales record to the Michigan State Police. In this regard, more gun regulations will be affecting law-abiding citizens who purchase guns legally with no intent to harm, rather than affecting criminals. More gun regulations will actually affect those who own guns for the primary purposes of hunting and collections more than it will affect those who own guns for criminal activities. Now, there are some laws that if somebody is illegal to, to be in possession of a firearm, <clears throat> they're informed of that. In other words, if you lived with an uncle that was a convicted felon, mm -hmm. you cannot legally take a firearm into that residence. Okay, that's good. And on the other hand, <laughs> if you have a felon living with you, you can neither legally have a firearm in that residence either. Uh, it's a catch-22, yeah. but but yeah, even though you're honest and it's your house, if a felon's living with you, it can't it can't happen. So. I've had individuals come into my store that were intoxicated, and it's my duty to not sell them a, a firearm. It, that's uh, um, yeah, I, I could be arrested right along <laughs> with the individual buying it, and it's not going to happen here, and it shouldn't happen. I, it's it's real easy to tell the fella or, or lady to come back tomorrow <laughs> when they're sober and, and finish okay. the transaction. Uh, yeah, don't don't need any any mistakes and. And um, it's true that you have the final say in whether you sell the gun or not. If, if they're Absolutely. The issue of prevalent gun violence must be solved. Background checks should be extended to gun shows and private sales, and legislation should be put in place so that gun shop owners aren't put in a position where they alone decide if someone is fit to buy a gun. Gun violence need be solved not by extending background checks or enacting legislation, 
but rather by better enforcing the regulations already in place. The Second Amendment is not conditional, and we as Americans have a right to bear arms.